Greetings Slackers, September Man here and in this video today I want to talk about what you use to gauge a person, to weigh them out. Are they worthy of your time and attention? What are the metrics that you use? Because I know for myself, I've been super picky over the years. And being super picky can lead to you being super lonely. Okay? Let's just be honest about that. But to add upset to injury, and this dovetails into the last video that I just did, talking about Equifax and its recent hacking incident. It doesn't help when we have corporate media outlets. And by corporate, I'm talking about your six major news outlets. Okay, that you can get on your cable news. They were promoting just a week ago. Okay, because they hit the, the, the headlines that, that a high FICO score can make you appear sexier. Or as a better dating choice. Now, I know whenever I've met women from online dating platforms... The last thing on my mind was um, their credit score. You know, I used to joke about such things, you know, with women and, you know, tell them, you know, I, I really can't date you, you know, if your credit score is below 620. And that's just being, you know, on the conservative side because anything below 620, you know, really closes the door on you. But right now, things are so bad in this country to the point that banks are making up fake accounts just so that their buddies on Wall Street can continue to sell to employees the idea that this company is growing. Look, they're doing really well. You know, invest in their stock. Make sure that this, this stock is in your portfolio and your 401k. You know, all this business, this jazz. And so there's a lot of fraud going on. Think about that. Fake accounts are being set up. And it's not just identity thieves who are out here scraping data off the internet. You've got major institutions that are taking your data. Okay? And creating phony accounts. And then they have the nerve to come out with an article. Not just one article, but several of them weeks before trying to push the idea that a higher credit score makes you sexier. Now, if you understand anything about how the media works, what comes out in the media, okay, influences public opinion. So it only takes a couple of thought leaders to pick up this idea, retransmit it through their network, on a social network, and everybody's repeating like a parrot that a high FICO score makes you appear sexier. The FICO scoring system is a tool used and designed to discriminate against people. You know, it's one of those things that is a false metric that a lot of people try to measure themselves by. And what I wish to tell you as a slacker is that there's other things deep down inside of you that you're going to have to mine and find and you will see that it is worth digging to find and makes you so much more worthwhile than a credit score you know the dangerous thing about a credit score is you take a look at what's going on over in China and this comes out of the uh, conspiracy uh, theory realm where in like minority report you as a citizen will be scored on your social participation and your loyalty to government. Do you realize how dangerous this is? If we go around judging people and sizing them up based off of how high their credit score is? It means nothing. Look at these institutions, major corporations, banks, okay, that are creating fake and phony accounts just so they can hit their sales numbers. And these are supposed to be institutions that 
we are supposed to trust. I want you to do some thinking about this. I don't think credit score is determinant of your character or the value of you as a person. You might disagree. What do you think? Leave all that for me down in the comment section below. That's going to do it for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.